Welcome to Quantum's online training videos. In this video, we demonstrate modification of the FIN or effector control module to enable use of the FIN oscillation simulator. If you are not familiar with the FIN oscillation simulator tool, please consult Quantum. In order to use the FIN oscillation simulator, the FIN or effector control module must be modified with an additional circuit board and this M12 external connection point. To perform the modification, the following equipment is required. A number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, an 8mm or 5 16 inch flat head screwdriver, a 3mm or 5 32 inch flat head screwdriver, an adjustable wrench, a drill, and one of Quantum's fin control module modification packages for each fin control module to be modified. For the modification, the stabilizer system needs to be inactive. Power down the stabilizer main controller and lock out and tag out the controller to deter unauthorized operation. Let's begin by modifying the fin control module cover to include the external connection point. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, remove the cover from the fin control module. Using the quarter inch and 19 inch drill bits provided in Quantum's fin control module modification package, drill a hole in the fin control module cover. To avoid conflict with the additional board that will be installed inside the fin control module, it is recommended to drill the hole in the bottom left corner. For convenience, position the hole to align with this circular casting impression on the inside of the cover. To install the M12 connector, slide the provided O-ring onto the connector. Install the connector into the fin control module cover and then use the adjustable wrench and provided nut to secure the connector in position. Next, let's install the interface board inside the fin control module. Disconnect the 5-point orange connector from the J1 receiver on the fin control module circuit board. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, Remove the two screws with captured lock nuts from the right side of the fin control module circuit board. Set these screws aside for reuse. By hand, install the two provided standoffs in place of the two screws. These only need to be installed finger tight. Install the provided interface board by pressing the X2 connector on the interface board into the J1 receiver in the fin control module circuit board. Install the two previously removed screws to secure the interface board to the fin control module circuit board. Then, install the 5-point orange connector onto the X1 receiver on the interface board. Next, we'll install a tether between the fin control module and its cover. Remove the screw from the lower right corner of the fin control module cover and discard the screw. Screw the provided tether into the fin control module cover and then into the fin control module body. Finally, it's time to make the final connections. Using the 3mm or 532nd inch flathead screwdriver, insert the M12 connector cable wires into the X3 connector on the interface board, following the color code provided. Once this is done, use the Phillips head and large flathead screwdrivers to install the fin control module cover. Then, install the provided dummy connector onto the M12 connector on the fin control module cover. Please note that the stabilizer will not work without this dummy connector, so it is important that it is installed and remains in place. Modification of the fin control module to enable use of the fin oscillation simulator is now complete. Remove the lockout and tagout from the stabilizer main controller and feel free to return the controller to the desired operating mode. Thank you for watching. For more in-depth information on operation and maintenance of quantum stabilizer systems, attend one of the training sessions at our Fort Lauderdale, Florida office, or contact us to arrange for a training session on board your vessel. Contact information is available on our website at www.quantumhydraulic.com.